Hello, so here's going to be a load of pictures that I took from Windscale, aka Sellafield, aka Seascale. So for those of you that don't know, this was the site of Britain's worst nuclear disaster, where the number one reactor, which was not a power creating reactor but a nuclear weapons reactor, at the Windscale plant caught fire. They later renamed it to Sellafield because I guess renaming it fixes the problem. Anyway, both the reactors were decommissioned and the number one reactor, because it's still radioactive, is still there today and I got a lot of photos of that. Now, this trip was particularly interesting because while I was there taking photographs, the armed police turned up the, um, is it nuclear constabulary? Uh, basically, the, guy, the armed police that guard nuclear power plants turned up and wanted to know what I was doing because I had a Geiger counter with me and everything. Um, but they were all quite cool when we talked everything over. The main reason, obviously, is that they have to be quite wary of terrorism, uh, this being Britain's largest nuclear site. And obviously, most of my job there was just explaining I'm looking for radiation with the Geiger counters and I wanted to take some pictures of the reactor from the you know, number one fire. Then they were talking to us about stuff like HBO's Chernobyl that always seems to come up when you talk to, you know, cops to who are trained in nuclear stuff when you start talking about nuclear disasters um, and all that stuff. So um, hopefully one of the pictures on here should be a really, really good picture of the number one reactor because once the police were finished talking with us, they did say, you know, if you want to get a couple more good pictures, please do, you know, before leaving the site. So um, that's what we did. The main thing the police were worried about was if I was taking pictures of things like, you know, guard patrols and, you know, how many police were stationed on which gates and things like that. Um, which obviously I wasn't doing because that does not interest me. I was more interested in, you know, the reactor that caught fire with the 1957 Windscale disaster. So there's a couple of clips of me using Geiger counters, but the background readings were actually really, really low there. Lower than um, in Oxfordshire. So, um... Sorry to disappoint everybody like me, who previously believed the area was really badly contaminated. It's actually not. They've done a very good job cleaning it up. Uh, but there'll be a few clips of Geiger counters just to prove that. Uh, the highest reading I got was 0 0.23 microsieverts. Most of the time it was below te uh, 0 0.1 microsieverts. Or 0 0.10 microsieverts, essentially. Anyway, enjoy all the pictures. They're in no particular order on the bits of video. Mm -hmm. 